All right. Uh, hello, all. Uh, busy screen here. I, I have some issues with uh, just uh, recording. I'm not sure what's going on, so I'm keeping an eye on it. Because I already did a video on this, and well, tried to do a video, and it crashed. In any case, um, this is a uh, basically part two of uh, Arch Linux lockdown or Arch Linux hardening, and I'm going to go through a uh, DM crypt again, just to make sure everything's um, in place. So. I already have it on my system set up DM crypt uh, for your whole root partition with a separate bootloader which isn't encrypted so I'm just gonna do my usual stuff for uh, virtual box and just keep an eye on the recording there <laughs> hopefully uh, we can get through this okay uh, so a uh, couple of things before I get started is a solid state drive, you, you, which I'm using. You can enable it. Um, that is, uh, if you if you don't have if you have a BIOS that enable that you can enable encryption, you probably want to use that. Maybe uh, there are some drawbacks. Um, is you, by default dmcrypt and supposedly never will enable FS trim or trim support. You have to manually enable that, which does compromise the security. So on a desktop tower computer, it's not as much of an issue. Definitely a laptop, you have to be aware of that, all right? Because you don't want to, if you, you know, are very concerned, if you're, uh, somebody gets a hold of your disk, uh, it could be compromised. It's not, it's, you know, not for sure. But just be aware of that. So in any case, uh, I have Arch Linux. Um, I'm VirtualBox set up with Arch Linux, just one hard drive. So it'll be device SDA we'll be working with only. So with that said, uh, just do an F disk if you have multiple hard drives. Uh, dash list. And you can see here I have SDA and the loop is pretty much the ISO. So it's only SDA we're going to work with. So F disk slash DEV SDA uh, new partition just uh, letter N uh, primary will be fine for what we're doing. Default partition is one. First sector will leave. The second sector is going to be our boot, and that's plus five one twelve, at least one hundred megabytes. So five twelve should be good enough not very much anymore these days so press enter uh, new this will be our root I'm just gonna leave everything I'm gonna leave the swap out of the equation because you have to encrypt that too uh, probably not as hard to do because it's swapped so it's volatile in any case partition to primary default uh, first and last I'll just leave the same now for partition two, we're gonna uh, type the letter T for type and it's gonna ask you which one I want for default number two and you can list out with L, and it's Linux LVM, and which is 8E, the number 8 and the letter E. Press enter. Change type of partition to Linux LVM. Okay, so W to write that out. And let's do an F disk dash L slash DEV SDA. I'll zoom in here. You see SDA is Linux and SDA, I mean SDA1 is Linux, SDA2 is Linux LVM, alright? So we're going to uh, set up our encryption with, uh, I'm going to leave it uh, simple again. I have uh, notes here, I'll up though, these. Um, you can use the, a stronger cipher if you wish, but uh, it is CPU intensive. So I'm just going to do Luke's format. So Luke's, press tab, capital F, press tab, slash CEV, SD, a2. Capital letters, you have to type in the word yes. Then you type in your passphrase. Okay, then we open it uh, with our passphrase. Oops, I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> Crypt. <laughs> Set up. Two dashes open. Um, no, not two dashes. I'm so sorry. Open. And then two dashes type. L U K S. Uh, device. S T A. Two and another space LVM for logical volume management. The passphrase you just typed in, 
and it should be open to create uh, physical um, volume, uh, group volume, and a logical volume. So PB physical volume create. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, DEV mapper LVM. I'm pressing tab on that, and it's been created. And then VG. I'm so sorry. VG create. Uh, I'm just going to call it root the group, okay? And then uh, device mapper LVM. Finally, um, LV logical volume create. I'm going to leave it all as as root, so it's much easier to set up. Uh, so dash L, and then plus 100% free. That's in capital letters, the word free, and root and a dash n root. My apologies, I forgot to put the percent sign 100% free. There we go. Okay, so we have the, the logical one. I'm sorry I cleared the screen, I shouldn't have, uh, but the notes are on the side there. So now we're going to make mkfs.extension4 and it's going to be pointed to the device mapper LVM. I'm um, sorry, root dash root. That's why I set it up so it's fairly simple. Give that a bit of time and we're done. Now we'll just mount that. Uh, DEV, DEV mapper root dash root to MNT. Now for our boot, it's the same idea. You can maybe extension 2 or 3 or 4 is fine. Slash DEV SDA one. All right, and then uh, we mount that to no, we make a directory. Sorry, mkdir slash dev slash mnt. I'm so sorry. Uh, boot. Now we mount the boot partition to so so dev sda one to slash mnt slash boot. And apologies, I am trying to keep an eye on the recording, so that's a, I'm kind of. Uh, a little slower today. All right, so those two partitions have been mounted. I'll clear the screen, ls slash mnt. You'll, you'll see boot, lost and found. All right, now I'm going to install Arch Linux. Okay, I just made a video a couple of weeks ago or a week ago on installing Arch Linux, so I'm going to skip through the process of installing that, and I'll get back to when we generate the file system table. Okay, so I'll be back in a flash. Okay, so Arch Linux installed. Um, just want to mention uh, when we generate the file system table, okay, um, I believe it would be easier to do without to do <laughs> without using the unique universal unique identifier, uh, simply because in the grub command line, instead of uh, pointing it to device SDA2, you'd have to point it to the identifier number, and it's kind of hard to remember or type in so I'm just going to do a simple generate gen fs tab slash mnt two dashes not to overwrite you can put one if you wish I just got used to using two to uh, etsy fs tab and we'll just uh, cat and make sure everything's right which looks fine to me so just start ch root mnt I'm not going to bother with setting up a host name. Obviously, you want your root password to be something. Uh, passwords, another thing, obviously, and, and security. And uh, after that, I'm just going to um, nano etsy mk init dot config. Page down, arrow key up a little bit, and where it has uh, hooks in quotes. I don't know, somewhere around after auto detect. You can type in encrypt, and if you make a mistake, it'll tell you, so you can always go back. So save and exit, and then just run that mkinit cpil p Linux. And if I didn't type anything wrong, it'll just uh, do its thing basically. And then after that, we'll just uh, download, install Grub, and add the uh, parameters to the grub configuration line and restart the computer or in this case virtual box 
So Pac-Man dash capital S grub grub legacy or whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to get OS Prober if you have another system, uh, another uh, operating system installed. And then just a uh, grub install one device SDA of course. All right, so Nano Etsy default grub. Okay, and where it has uh, this line here, where the cursor is blinking, grub cmd line Linux. I'm going to type in crypt device, and this is what I was saying, equals, if you had to put in those long numbers, it would be very difficult. So dev sda2, remember that, a colon root. I think, uh, don't quote me on this one, you have to check on the Arch Linux documentation. If you want another one, allow, I think it's discards or allow discards, one word, for solid state drive. But I'm going to leave it as that. Sorry to get you confused. So crypt device equals devsda2 colon root. Then root equals slash dev slash mapper. Another slash root and a dash root. And then you write write that out and exit. All right, so that's it. You just uh, U mount. I mean exit first, and U mount slash mnt and a dash capital R, and either power off or reboot. Okay, so I left the ISO in and uh, boot existing OS, and we'll see what happens. And I forgot to update the grub, didn't I? Okay, uh, don't forget to, sorry about that, uh, don't forget to mount the uh, boot device as well, because uh, Grub will complain. So I just did a Grub install, just in case, and then we'll run our mk uh, grub. I totally forgot to do that, mk config dash o slash boot grub grub dot cfg, and it'll complain about the mounted um, ISO, um, but it, it should work, I hope. I got everything right. If not, I'll have to go back into this mode, which I won't let you, which I won't allow you to suffer through. <laughs> I'll do it myself, of course. So U mount MNT dash R and reboot and boot existing OS. That's much better. There we go. Now you're gonna have to type in your passphrase to unlock the volume. And there we go. I'm gonna log in. Okay, so that's it for this part. Um, there, now I want to go through a way of uh, automatically unlocking or uh, the uh, pass key if you want to, which I do on my system tower desktop. I'm not that concerned on the uh, physical part of things, especially in Linux. There's nothing on here. So um, just give me a second. I'll bring up the notes on that. Okay, so here it is. Uh, no password basically no password prompt so we use B, uh, dd and then the byte sector count equals and then uh, u random and the name of the crypto and so on you go the ch mod mo mode mod <laughs> uh the the file and your init ram fs and then uh we'll add this and so on so it's pretty it's it's kind of neat actually the way it works and finally crypt setup L U K S add key like so and slash D E V S T A two to that uh, crypto key file and you type in your existing passphrase. Now to edit our um, MK init file again. Uh, so nano uh, Etsy mk init dot c o n f or it has uh, files equals in quotes here. You just type in that where it is in the root crypto key file. So slash crypt crypto underscore key file dot bin. All right, and just uh, write that out, 
exit and we have to reinitialize the re reinitialize the uh, init ram fs so mk init cpio dash p linux and with any luck we'll do another reboot we won't be prompted for a password or a passphrase okay so reboot uh, the drawback to this even on a solid state drive it takes longer to to boot because it has to unencrypt it for some reason if you know a way around why it's slower well it's encrypted that's why so that's why and anyway so there we go it's unlocked right, login now you can do this as a uh, you just uh, I'll, I'll point to, to the Arch Linux documentation, but you can put this on a USB drive instead of on the hard drive. If you want to do that, if you want to automatically unlock. All right. So I hope I have covered everything. Uh, sorry for the uh, confusion and uh, busy screen. But for all intents and purposes, uh, and we have the drive encrypted. And you can do all your locale and your hosts and your protocols, except for uh, if you're using wireless, you have to have... Uh, download the wireless tools before rebooting but other than that uh, there we have it uh, DM crypt uh, redone to fall along with the Arch Linux uh, lockdown okay all right so that's it for this one and thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now